December 27, 2000, Super Mario Returns, Part 2. No! An unforgettable night at Mellon Arena, and Lemieux continued the pace all season with 76 points in just 43 games. He's the best. No doubt about it. Simply put, Marty Brodeur is a record-breaking machine. 12 consecutive 30-win seasons, most games, minutes, single-season wins, all-time wins, and most recently, shutouts. Number 104. This black box contents, there is an envelope that will change the future of one NHL franchise. The prize? Sid the Kid. And Steel Town hasn't been the same since. The fact that we're here today tells you how important hockey has become because this is a full day of Steeler training camp and we're here instead of there. Normally that's sacrilegious. Canadian junior dominance times five. Beginning in Grand Forks in 2005 and still going strong. March 8, 2004, GM placed in Vancouver, and a moment that stained the game. Now watch, suckers him from behind and drives his head into the ice. The Vancouver Canucks vowed they were going to get more. They have gotten, legally, what comes into play now? I don't play the game that way. I'm not a mean-spirited person. I am disappointed and puzzled by the actions of the Crown Council. Ray Bork spent 21 brilliant seasons on the blue line in Beantown. He made countless all-star appearances and won five Norris trophies. But something was missing. In 2000, a trade to Colorado allowed him to capture his dream. And after 22 years, Raymond It was one moment that uh, I'll remember forever. November 22, 2003, the Heritage Classic. I don't know if we can ever duplicate what happened over how magical it was for a couple days here. It was pretty special. The success of that game has been parlayed into what's become an outdoor tradition on New Year's Day. February of 2002, the Salt Lake Games. Oh, Canada. Team Canada ends its 50-year gold medal drought with a 5-2 win over Team USA. An iconic moment frozen in time. 2004-05, a dark year for everyone involved in the game. I have no choice but to announce the formal cancellation of play for 2004-2005. To everybody who calls us spoiled, you guys are just jealous and <laughs> guys. It's all or nothing, and that's unfortunate. As bad as the lockout was, the NHL was able to bounce back thanks to two stars in particular. Alex Ovechkin and Sidney Crosby have emerged as the faces of the new NHL, culminating with Crosby's Cup win last June. Sidney Crosby, the 